going into today, these Indianapolis Colts, they were in the conversation for the hottest team in football. They had just beaten the Packers in overtime. They had just smoked the Titans. And they've been on a nice run lately. Before this, everyone was saying they can't beat good teams because they really hadn't. And then they proved that they could. And then today, ooh, that got put, that hot streak got put to an end by a team that people were starting to lose faith in. They were kind of going the opposite way. I know they just beat the Ravens, but before that, they had gotten smoked by the Colts. You know, they would gotten by the Bears, but they lost to the Bengals. Not even in a real close one. They lost to the Bengals. So people are starting to lose faith on these Titans. But after this game, you got to start you got to think they're starting to get hot like they did at the end of last season. You know they got brought in Desmond King via trade and immediately, you know, you didn't really see much of the impact. The defense was still bending and breaking and they were able to move on them. But today, this defense, they got it together. But I don't even want to start there because we got to start with the headline. You know, we can't bury the lead on you. We got Derrick Henry 27 carries, 138 yards, three touchdowns was the last time I checked. But it's that's when I wrote it down like mid-fourth quarter. He got some garbage time yards after that. But that's really when the game was in balance. He, are, he even had more to add to that. But he had at least that. That was what he had when the game was really in balance. 138, 27 carries, three touchdowns. And that just shows you what that man, King Henry, can do. He's not one of these running backs that, you know, you're going to... Dump it down to him a lot. You're going to throw a lot of screen passes. You're going to line him at the receiver. No. He's the old screw running back that is dominating in the modern game. You just hand, give that man the handies and he'll do the job. You just keep giving him that ball and eventually he's going to bust him loose. And today, it didn't even take long. He was busting him loose all day long. On that Colts defense, that's one of the best in the league. Now, if you're the Colts, I know you're probably thinking... All right, we just lost. We just had a big win against the Packers, a big uh, primetime win against the Titans. We probably were feeling ourselves a little too much, and that's probably part of what happened. But King Henry, he took, he put y'all part on another level. It wasn't like you know y'all, you know, let y'all bent a lot. Y'all didn't play very good on defense. No, y'all, y'all gave up 35 at the half to a running team. If they were passing it and dicing it, that maybe be one thing. But when you're running the ball, that's not supposed. You're not supposed to be able to get to 35 mainly off of running, just because of how much that takes off the clock. You're not supposed to give up big plays like that. But that Titans team, ooh, they picked him apart. So we got to discuss if Derrick Henry could be an MVP candidate the way he's been playing. And simply put, no, no, he's the best running back in the league right now. Best in the league, no debate. Delvin Cook, you know, he's kind of close. Christian McCaffrey, when he's healthy, he's kind of close. But no. It's clearly Derrick Henry, but it just shows that you need the perfect storm to come together for a running back to be MVP. Last time it happened, Adrian Peterson, at the time, I thought Peyton Manning deserved it slightly over him. I'm biased, I'm a Peyton Manning fan, but I even thought then. But in that situation, that was the perfect storm for a running back to get it. Because not only was Adrian Peterson dominating, it was a situation where they needed all of that to win games. They had Christian Ponder at quarterback. And they were winning so many close games, low scoring, running the football. These these performances, as amazing as they are, you know, that the whole team came together. And it's not like they needed every single yard. It was just to blow out the whole team. Why? He's a great player. But you can't put him with the Mahomes-level uh, impact on a team, even a Russell Wilson. You know, maybe you could squeak him in the top five, near like the four or five, maybe even three. But he doesn't have a chance to surpass Mahomes and Russell Wilson. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it. He's amazing. But can't give him MVP status. And then we could talk about Phillip Rivers. Because by the end of the game, sure, he got himself a second touchdown. He got himself some yards. But when the game was in the balance, ooh, it looked ugly. After some weeks where Phillip Rivers had turned it around and just got it going great. So, really what you could say, see from this now, Phillip Rivers, if everything is perfect, he could still be that guy for you. He's got some dog in him. He could still get a little clutch gene and all that. But if the running game ain't going, and it wasn't really going today, he's really, if you focus on him passing, he doesn't have that in him anymore. When things aren't perfect for him, he needs things perfect, and he could play really well. But if they aren't like they were today, the Titans defense held up in the run. Mike Vrabel got this defense going the right way. It's ugly. And now this division's in the balance yet again. The Colts, I just lost a little bit of faith in them 
to be able to be a contender. I never really had much faith in them to be able to challenge to win the NFC, the AFC. I think they could be anyone on any given day, but I don't think what they have what it takes with Phillip Rivers at quarterback and the consistency offensively or defensively even after today's game to be able to beat all all the top teams will have to be in the playoffs. They could maybe get one upset, maybe get to the second round, but I don't see I don't see them having a chance. And the Titans, I see them having more of a chance because great running game. Tannehill, you want things to be really perfect for him, but he still shows that he, he can make some things happen when it's not. So I have a little more faith in Tannehill at this point. And the defense, Mike Vrabel's got it going better and better. This Titans team, I got a little faith in them. I think they could they could potentially be an AFC dark horse. They could maybe go all the way. You never know. Derrick Henry goes off of the playoffs like he did last year. We'll see. And if they somehow don't have to play the Chiefs especially, ooh, it could be interesting. But that's all I got to say about this. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment. Hit the like. You got to hit the subscribe. Come on. Hit the subscribe.